hello friends and welcome to youtube channel freedom tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session we are going to create a virtual mouse with the help of open cv and cv zone hand tracking module okay but before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends as i mentioned we are going to create a virtual mouse with the help of open cv and cv zone hand tracking module for that first you need to install open cv tensorflow Lite, and media pipe on raspbian buster legacy version i have already created a video how to install all these basic modules on raspbian buster legacy version which is 32 bit version okay i will mention the video link inside my description box watch video and install all these basic modules so i have already installed open cv tensorflow Lite, and media pipe then how to install a cv zone so simply open terminal and run the command sudo pip3 install cv zone and just hit enter it will install cv zone on our raspbian buster legacy version which i have already installed that's why it says the requirement is already satisfied that's it now we're ready and we are going to use here our usb web camera for uh, tracking our hands or we can say for detecting the hands uh, points okay simply I have created here a file the file name is handmouse.py and inside that I have called our modules and I have created the basic code for capturing the live frame with the help of our USB web camera so import CV2 then from CV zone hand tracking module import hand detector okay as you can see this is what our module hand detector then cap is equal to cv2 dot video capture then we need to mention our usb web camera index number which is zero then while loop red frame is equal to cap dot read then frame dot resize we are going to resize our frame uh, 640 is the width and 480 is the height then we are going to uh, flip the frame so cv2 dot flip method frame and one okay then in show method for showing our frame then cv2 dot wait key one if we press escape key our while loop will be break and then cap dot release and cv2 dot destroy all windows so this is what our basic code okay so if i start the code and then we have our live frame uh, with the help of our usb web camera okay so as you can see this is what our live frame we are ready now we are going to start our next code so simply first what we want to do we want to create here a variable the variable which represent our uh, module which is the hand detector and max confidence and uh, max hands okay so detector is just a variable detector is equal to our module which is the hand detector so just copy it from here and just paste it over here okay so hand detector is the module okay then we need to mention the detection confidence okay so detection detection confidence so con c capital detection con is equal to 0 0.5 okay and max hands h capital max hands is equal to one okay this is how we need to create the variable which represent our hand detector module and our condition so detection con 0 0.5 and max hands is equal to one that's it now we have our variable now simply where we flip our frame we need to mention hands hands and the frame is equal to our variable which is detector okay detector dot find hands h capital find hands and inside that we need to pass our frame that's it so if i save the code if i run the code and as you can see it's detecting my hands we have all the points okay now simply what we are going to do for mouse we are going to use here our pinky tip uh, point okay so we need here our points our list of the points so simply we can say here if there is hands if there is hands so if hands we can say hands one hands one is equal to our hands hands and inside that we need to mention the first value so zero so if the hands is there we can create a hands one is the variable and we need to mention hands and inside that we need to mention zero zero is basically first data so first index value so hands one is equal to hands zero now we need here but well, let's just first print uh, print hands one hands one if i save the code if i run the code
and as you can see inside the shell we have lot of data so let me stop the code and data is like this way we have here as i mentioned we have here lm list so lm list is basically all the uh, finger points okay so lm list then we have b box then we have center and we have type of the hand so we need here lm list so simply we can create our condition like this way so we know what is the data so we can simply remove the print hands one and we can create another variable which is lm list lm list is equal to uh, hands one hands one okay this is the variable hands one and inside that we need to mention lm list so let's say lm and the l is capital as you can see the list l is capital so we need to mention lm and list l capital that's it so we have now our lm list which basically give us all the points x y coordinates so simply we can print uh, the pinky tip so, so simply if i open the google github.io media pipe solution hands.html and we have here our hands point okay so 20 is basically our pinky tip as you can see so we need here 20 number point x y coordinates so simply if we print lm list lm list and we need to mention a 20 number and then x coordinate so index value for x coordinate is 0 okay so it will give us the x coordinate so if i start the code if i show hands and as you can see we have only one value so this is what our x value so same way we need here a uh, y value so we need to simply mention one this is how we will get the x y coordinates okay so simply we can say here x is equal to lm list x is equal to lm list then the number of our point which is the 20 for pinky tip and the zero for x value okay then y is equal to lm list then 20 and the one for y value okay so simply we can draw the circle cv2 dot circle and inside that we need to mention a frame then x y coordinates okay then the radius value so let's say 10 and the color we are going to make uh, it a red 0255 0, 0, and then we are going to fill the circle for that we are going to mention minus one so let's just save the code if i run the code If I show hands and as you can see we have the circle on my pinky tip so our pinky tip is we are going to use for uh, our mouse cursor okay so we have now xy coordinates so simply we can uh, create a cursor movement with the help of pi auto GUI move to function so simply open the terminal and we are going to run the command sudo sudo pip3 install pi auto GUI pi auto GUI and just hit enter it will install pi auto GUI on our Raspbian Buster legacy version which I have already installed as you can see it says the requirement is already satisfied that's it now simply what we are going to do we have our uh, module so simply we are going to import pi auto GUI that's it pi auto GUI so save the code uh, and what we are going to do after where we create the circle simply we are going to mention pi pi auto pi auto gui okay pi auto gui dot move to t capital move to and inside that we need to pass our x and y coordinates okay so if i save the code if i run the code okay so if i show hands and as you can see our cursor is moving okay but it's not going uh, at outside of the frame okay as you can see if my hands is basically outside at the frame the cursor is not working okay simply for that what we want to do it's only uh, working when my hands inside our frame if i if i move hands outside the frame the cursor is not moving so simply for that what we want to do we need here our total screen width and total screen height so simply we can create here uh, another variable which is sw screen width and sh uh, is basically our screen height is equal to pi auto gui 
pi auto GUI dot okay pi auto GUI dot size and then we need to uh, print we can say SW and SH okay so if I save the code if I run the code and as you can see we have our total screen width and total screen height so let me make like this way as you can see 1366 is the full screen height sorry not height a width and 768 is our screen height okay so screen width and screen height which we are going to use also we need here our frame width and frame height so our frame width is basically 640 and frame height is basically 480 so simply we can say here fw is our frame width and fh is our frame height so frame width is basically our 640 and frame height is our 480 so this is what our fw and fs so what we are going to do here we are going to create another variable so let's say x2 x2 is equal to our uh, screen width so sw divided by frame width multiply by x okay then y2 is equal to sh our screen height then our frame height fh multiply by y then we will get x2 and y2 so now simply we can change here x with x2 and y with y2 simple so if i save the code if i run the code now our mouse will be moved on our full screen okay so this is what my pinky dip and as you can see our mouse cursor is moving on full screen okay as you can see okay so this is how we can uh, use our pinky tip point and our total screen width and total screen height and we can create a mouse cursor moment with the help of our pinky tip now we have our mouse cursor moment now we need here a click moment so for click moment we are going to use our thumb tip okay the fourth number thumb tip okay so we can simply say if the thumb tip is down we have a zero and if the thumb tip is up we have one so simply we can create here another variable so after uh, where we mentioned pi auto gui dot move to we can say finger okay finger is equal to detector which is our variable which represent our module okay so detector again detector detector dot fingers fingers up u capital okay detector dot fingers up and inside that we need to pass our hands one so hands one that's it so if we print finger okay so if i save the code if i run the code if i show hands and as you can see inside uh, our shell we have data our five fingers are up and for mouse click we are going to use a thumb tip so if i down the thumb tip as you can see we have first index zero up one so if there is zero we can say there is a click for mouse okay so simply we are going to say like this way okay we know what we print so we are going to remove the print function and we can say if if finger okay if finger is equal to or let's just say first what we want here we need to create let's say a is equal to finger and we need here only first index so a is equal to finger and the index value is zero okay and then we can create the if condition so if a is equal to zero if a is equal to zero we can say the click function so pi auto gui dot click pi auto gui dot click and then we need to uh, 
slip the function for one second okay so pi auto gui dot slip for one second that's it so when thumb tip is down our data is zero so if a is equal to zero so a is equal to finger and we need here only the first index so we need to mention zero okay so first okay so we need here only first index so just a minute so as i mentioned we need here only first index so we need to mention zero okay so a is equal to finger and the index zero so if a is equal to zero we can say pyotogui dot click and then pyotogui dot slip one millisecond simple so if i save the code if i run the code now we have our mouse function ready the clip function and the move function okay simple so let's test it let's open our browser so i want to go here this is what our browser if i if i want to click so i need to make thumb tip down as you can see the browser is open okay and we have here a lots of tabs so let's just open a tor tab so i just want to go here tor and as you can see the tor tab is open okay so if i want to go here on kali linux and it's open the kali linux tab okay so just uh, minimize the browser the browser is minimized and we are going to open our terminal and as you can see the terminal is open okay so our code is successfully work okay so this is our friends you can create with the help of a uh, pinky tip and with the help of thumb down and up action you can create the virtual mouse okay i hope you learned something from this video we'll meet our next video till then thank you check and bye bye